Apostle thought I need to get his ass beat. Please. Please. I really don't like that dude, man. Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your boy J Village, bro. Today we're running up another episode of Tokyo Revengers, bro. So last episode we got a taste of betrayal and stupidity, bro. Even though it was an accident, Kazutoro and Balji was out there doing stupid stuff, man. Kazutoro gotta be the dumbest character in this show, man. And his reason for hating Mikey, bro, like this dude is he has the audacity. He has the audacity to get the resolve to kill Mikey for his own stupidity. My guy out here swinging on sight on random dudes while we having a full-blown conversation, bro. Like, use context clues, bro. I know, homie. You gonna swing on him like that? But anyways, let's get right into this episode. If you enjoy this type of content, leave your boy a like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Like, none of this needed to happen, bro. Kazu thought I made this whole situation happen. And now freaking Baji got caught up in the sauce and has to deal with the consequences too. R.I.P. to freaking Mikey's brother. This is a definition of getting peer pressured into doing stupid stuff, man. Baji could have just avoided this whole situation and kept this freaking... He could have kept himself in a straight line, bro, because he was a, a cool-ass kid. But this, this whole situation adds to, like, as to my liking to my to Baji, bro. I, I didn't like him before, but you can see like this guy will never turn on his guys. Like this whole thing that they're showing us that that Baji is gonna go over to the other side. I see that bullshit. I don't see that happening. And now Takamichi is meeting the murderer of freaking Mikey's brother. He took the blame. So he just been waiting for this moment, but I don't believe it, man. You that switch up cannot be that big, but he did, he did do time for him. So Baiji might actually switch to that side. I can't even lie, bro. Valhalla's jackets are kind of fire. Hey, we're gonna have our first battle. Let's get it. In a week, so we can't even go back. We gotta stay here and prevent this. Then we only have a week to bring Baji back. I wonder how serious Mikey is about that statement, bro. Or is he just being like strict and like trying to push his weight around? Isn't that bro that was getting his ass beat? Because it was a. Dude with blonde hair, like, bowl cut, getting his ass beat on the ground by Baji. Yeah, I know. It, it was him getting his ass beat. Yeah, he was the one getting his ass clapped on the ground. Oh, pause. He low-key ate that shit, bro. He looking clean right now. He ate that like a, he ate that like a champ. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. I know he looked familiar. Exactly, bro. I've been telling y'all. I, I I knew that my guy, like that freaking backstory they gave us, like he, his personality is way too loyal from that backstory. That a boy. So Kisaki joined our gang to like freaking break it down. I take all the bad mouth that I did to Baji, man. I. Switch back when I got his backstory. But I was talking hella bad about my guy, bro. My bad. My bad. He's on his 007 right now. My bad. I know. I don't think I could I could forgive anybody for something like that. You kill a family member of mine, even if by accident. I'm going to be hurt. I'm going to need some type of vengeance or something. Or revenge. Tell him what this dude just told you, bro. Like, he just literally told you everything that's going down. Just freaking spit the words out of your mouth and tell him. Obviously, we know that Kisaki has to do with everything that happens in the future. That, that's your best homie, right? That's his new best friend. So you got guts, my guy. 
he knows that freaking Kasaki is no good. Exactly. Yo, remember your freaking everything you've been through, bro. You lost your, you see, and way too many of your homies die in front of you. Get this pussy personality out of here. Ooh, you telling him up front like that? Whoa, you telling Mikey that to his face, bro? Okay, I like the freaking. I like that. That takes guts, bro. Just tell your leader, I want to take your spot, my guy. I like that. Bro, you weak as hell, bro. You can't be just saying that to Mikey to his face, my guy. <laughs> this guy's vibe, bro. This dude is cool as hell. What, this about to be our new right-hand man? <laughs> but I hope y'all, bro, because I like your personality. I like this dude, this Chi you dude. These are the type of dudes you need around you, bro. These are the type of dudes you need to push you around, bro. Partner. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm talking about Hala and Kasaki. So Kasaki's on his double agent and Baji's on his double agent. Okay. I already took my bad mouth for Baji, bro. Last episode, I took it back because I seen the his backstory and everything that happened in between him and Kazutoro, but now I take it away completely. The freaking double agent thing. He's back. I'm back on his side. So is this really the guy behind everything? I don't need anything in return. What is this like Kosaki before he like got his haircut or something? So that was Kisaki, bro? My guy sauced up, bro. My guy got the best glow up in the show. My guy had the best glow up in the show, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! Talk about switching personality. So Kisaki is brains out here. You could tell, but just by looking how how he looked back in the day. You know who rolled over Shinjuku? So he about that life. So we, we really got to watch over Kasaki. So Borden, he was leading over him. He was following Kasaki. Exactly. You see? So we knew that this dude is, he's a big boy out here. Wow. This dude is smart as hell, bro. Kill Draken and Draken survive. Good thing that Draken survived. Bro, that's a lot of chess moves to move just to kill Draken. Mikey. Hanma. So Hanma is, is the next one. So Kasaki is the crazy dude in this situation right now. We thought Hanma was bad. And Kasaki's behind all of, all of Han was doing. So in the future, when Hanma shows up and that whole thing that happened uh, to Hina, freaking Kasaki's behind all of that. And if it was mysterious, but no, obviously they called the Headless Angel. So Kasaki's the Headless Angel? Yo, Kasaki is, bro, talk about... Absolute grow up, and my guy is smart as hell. Like, bruh, this guy is danger. Oh, he went to the president to find out to talk to Dragon and see what happened. I'm assuming we're going to Dragon right now. Or why can't we just find Kasaki in the future, in the present? Yeah, we're back in jail. Okay. We should have went and talked to freaking. Kasaki in the future or present just to see what he got, what he like. Huh? 
the was Hanma. Head of Mikey. The head of Valhalla is Mikey. What? So, to wow. Wow. Bloody Halloween. The first time Toman ever lost. So, we're going to lose a lot of members. Are people going to die there? Well, Mikey went overboard. Or did Mikey lose one-on-one -on -one against somebody? Wow. So, he got his revenge. And Molly Wab Kazutora. Even Baji on the ground, so he just took his freaking revenge on both of them. He killed Kazutora. And wow. He got his revenge on that day. As bad as it seems, Kazutora need to get his ass. I really don't like that dude, man. All right, so this episode put everything into perspective, bro. First of all, Baji, bro. I'm going to say right now, bro, I'm sorry for all the bag talk. My guy was out here on his 007, his Kim Possible, trying to get some information for the squad and, and freaking prove that Kisaki is not with us. Like, he's on the other side. But now, nah, let's talk about Kisaki, bro. Kisaki had one of the best glow-ups in the show, bro. My guy was looking like the biggest nerd of all time. Got the highlights, the glasses, all of it. We love to see it. Even though he's a jackass and he's out here killing dudes. We were we were thinking that Hama was the biggest threat of the show. Thinking that he was one of the biggest antagonists of the show right now. But Kisaki just... It's on a different level. My dude was playing chess out there. Every single movement he did had a freaking outcome and it all ended. And the final outcome he wanted was for Dragon to die so he could take that second in command. Since that didn't work, my guy said, all right, let me get my next dude. I'm going to control Hama, make these two freaking gangs have a conflict. And since what we heard in the present that Dragon killed um, Kazutora, this was all freaking Kasaki's doing, my guy. All of this was for him to have control over the whole gangs, bro. This dude is too smart. I still want to meet President Kisaki. We seen him in the background in the shadows, but I, I want to have a conversation with dude because we, we need to know what's the purpose of all of this. Like, what is his end goal? Honestly, top tier episode, there's never a dull moment in this show. If you enjoy this type of content, leave your boy a like and subscribe. Peace.